Hi, this is Krista Bender from Pivot, and today I want to walk you through associations with HubSpot. Um, as of April 18th, 2022, uh, HubSpot customers that have uh, pro or enterprise level are now able to associate more than one company record to a contact deal or a ticket. Uh, you can also create custom association labels between different standard objects. You can label associations between records and you can use association labels in your list, workflows and reports. If you have HubSpot Enterprise, you are going to be able to define custom object association schema through the UI. Previously, you needed to do this with an API. And you can also create and use association labels with custom objects in addition to your standard objects. So I'm going to walk you through really quick where to find associations and how you could set up some labels. Keep in mind, you will need to be a super admin if uh, to set up the association labels in HubSpot, but you do not have to be a super admin to take advantage of these cool new features. So you go to the settings cog in the upper right hand side and on the left hand side you're going to go under data management to objects and if you don't have that click that open. <clears throat> and then you can take a peek into contacts companies deals and tickets so i'm going to click on contacts and the associations tab and then you're going to see the various uh, labels that have been set up, so this is contacts to companies, you can see there's a primary company or former company. There's contacts to deals, and then there's contacts to tickets. The same is for companies. Click on that and then the associations tab. And then you can see the former company and primary company, uh, as well as uh, companies to deals and companies to tickets. And that's really easy if you wanted to set up another uh, association label. So let's say I wanna set up a companies to tickets. I would click on create association label and it's associating companies with tickets. And let's say this is going to be a security integrator, right, is an option that I need. So I go ahead and click that and you see it gets added there. Uh, same when you click on deals and associations, it walks you through when you hit the drop down of deals to companies and all the various associations, deals to contacts and deals to tickets if you have any. And the same finally for tickets click on associations, and then you'll see tickets to companies, tickets to contacts, and tickets to deals. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take you into a contact record. So I've looked at mine and I uh, want to show you how it's correct currently. My company, my primary company is Pivot. That's where I work. But let's say there's a lot of information I had from working at my previous uh, employer that I want to have associated to my contact record. I would click on the add button and I would search for the company that I worked for before or the, con the contact, right? So it was Applied Video Technology. I click Next. So now here's a very important thing to pay attention to. Here's where you could choose to replace Pivot as the primary uh, company for that contact. This is not the case, right? I, I want this to be the uh, former company. So I'm not going to check that button. And then here you can always um, add the association label. So this is where uh, setting that up in uh, settings comes in handy. So this is where I could say apply video was the former company. So I hit save. And now you can see here it still shows pivot as the primary company. Here it shows applied video as the former company. So that's really fantastic if you have an end user or uh, someone you've worked with maybe on a manufacturer level or a manufacturer's rep level that has moved around uh, you know, recently over the years you've worked with them and you wanna just kind of keep track of where they've uh, worked and where they've been. So uh, let's take a quick look at deals. So if we take a look at a uh, deal that I have open, right? And we're gonna see so far, I don't have any contacts or companies, but I want to associate them to that. So I'm going to click add for the company. So I am going to um, pretend that I'm an integrator, right? And I'm going to look up uh, Biamp, right? I'm going to put next. I do not want to set them as the primary company, but I want to set them as being the manufacturer. So then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then let's say that I also want to associate the manufacturer's rep. 
So uh, let's see, that would be Simcoe. So I type in Simcoe, find them, click next. Um, I don't want them to be my main, but I do want to give them a label so I know who they are, right? And then I let's just pick a company to have as the primary. Um, we'll just say pivot for now. We'll pretend that's the end user. Um, we're going to say yes to replace that as uh, the current primary. And then if there was an end user association label, you could uh, choose that. Um, this is obviously where it shows you if you're lacking one, you can go ahead and have one created if it's needed. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit save for now. So now you can see I have three companies. Pivot is showing as the primary. Biamp is showing as the manufacturer and Simcoe is showing up as the manufacturer's rep, which is awesome, right? So now yeah, anybody looking at this deal can, can easily identify all the players that would be involved. Same goes for tickets. So if you go to tickets and then you go and find uh, the ticket that you are working on. So let's say this test one here. Um, again, I have some contacts, so I could add another contact, right? So let's say I wanted to add in myself to this ticket um, for some reason, right? I go ahead and find myself, click next, and then I can add an association label. Um, I could choose to swap that to be the main contact or if there's another association label that makes sense, and you go ahead and click save, and now you have uh, another person. Same goes for companies, just like we did for deals. You click add. And now let's pretend that I am a uh, manufacturer and I need to find uh, the integrator that is a part of this uh, ticket for some reason, right? I find applied video. Um, I'm going to put in that they are an integrator, right? And then let's say I am also working with a manufacturer's rep. So again, let's uh, pick on Simcoe. <laughs> Go ahead and add them. And we list them as a manufacturer's rep firm. So then you will see you have your uh, end user company, which is your primary, right? Who you're working with on that ticket and anybody else that may be associated to it. Maybe you're working with the integrator and you're working with the manufacturer's rep firm to uh, get this ticket resolved. So that is uh, really quickly how you uh, can set up associations and association labels and then apply those to contact company, deal, or ticket records in HubSpot. Let me know if you have any questions.